What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I farm my Zanas. This is how I've done it on stream, which you can check out at twitch.tv slash kaoms. Link to that will be in the description. I hope this works for you. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so to get into this, you're going to want to buy uh, four of these watchstones. They are Titanium Lex Proxima watchstones. And they are the only watchstones that can roll the Explorer's modifier, which I will show above here. Um, it is a one in about 300 alteration or prefixes to get the Explorer's modifier, the tier one version that is. Uh, but it's absolutely worth it. Um, on top of that, uh, you're going to need to get park maps. And park maps are gotten by... Or, uh, Orb of Horizons onto a base tier 13 map. So you don't want to go for the tier 16. It's not needed. Uh, it's not useful for anything. You just want to do tier 13s. And um, to get tier 13s, I personally favor the Plateau because it is a base tier 13 map. And a base map is easy to turn into a different base tier um, by using Horizons. It's a 25% chance for you to turn a Plateau into a park. So very easy to sustain that way. Um, other than that, you're going to want uh, Secrets of Stones to give a pseudo 100% increased chance again, uh, as it will increase every single watchstone effect by 25%, effectively giving you 125% on each of the watchstones. Um, what you can do additionally is you can roll your watchstones with sextants. That's something that I personally do because I'm self-poisoning. And uh, you can potentially hit the Zana mod if you're using prime sextants or higher. So you could do simple if you want. It's cheaper by quite a lot. However, you cannot roll Zana if you have um, simple sextants. So personally, I would recommend going for prime. Uh, in which case, you also want to use Enduring Influence so that your sextants automatically roll with four charges and not three. Okay, and here we are inside one of these park maps, and uh, I will show you roughly what the layout looks like. Now, very simple. There's the boss. Kill the boss, and there is an increased chance of getting the Zana from that boss. On top of that, I prefer to clear the entire map and take a quick stroll through the entire place, uh, just to see if there's either a Zana that has actually spawned or if there's a harvest in the area. Uh, it's that easy. I'll do one more run, show you again what it what the layout looks like. It's super simple. It's very fast. Um, if you're interested in this build, then I can leave a, a POB link in the description to this. Uh, any generic self poison build could farm this very efficiently. You have something like a lab runner that simply kills the boss. That's also something you can do that works completely fine. So I think you're going to spend around 40 seconds per map if you're not self-poisoning. About 20 seconds if you are self-poisoning. Uh, partially depending on whether you choose to clear the rest of the map or whether you just rush the boss and kill the boss. Do one more for a good measure. I'm not sure if I have a poison sextant for this. I do. I guess that's my last charge. There's the boss, and we get one more Zana there. So it's a good two out of three. Again, just quickly stroll through, and there's nothing there. Yeah, so that's pretty much how it's done. Very fast, very efficient, very easy, and I find it quite good. Uh, I hope you guys can use this information, and I, um, I hope you get your, your harvest. And again, if you're interested in checking me out, that is twitch.tv slash I'm live from 11 in the morning, GMT plus one, Central Europe time. Uh, usually I'm live for anywhere between eight and 10 hours. Yeah, have a great day. Uh, I wish you all the best and good luck with your harvest crafting. Peace.